I am Tony from uh, Estonian, and Squistonian tries to do everything with beer. All right, Tony, everything with beer. Name a few things you do. Uh, well, I started off with brewing. Um, that was the most expensive thing I've ever done. Uh, and it was also my start, so uh, I started off with nothing. I didn't have any budget with brewing. I didn't have any budget to start a company. Uh, but I lost my job and I was like, yeah, what am I going to do with life? Uh, and I only had one passion at that moment, and that was beer. And now, still at this moment, it is still beer. So why not do all? Uh, so started with brewing. Later on, uh, I started uh, Zito Logo Opleiding. I don't know how to say it in English, but it's like um, CCO or something like that. Um, for the Belgium. Um, and they taught me about food pairing with beer. Uh, I think that was very interesting. Uh, so I went to a restaurant in St. Um and they hired me as a beer sommelier at their place and I worked there a few months uh, to get some experience. Uh, from that restaurant I started working at uh, breweries um, and this moment I'm helping a restaurant Taratata in Hasselt and that is actually basically what I do right now. So. Since a week, I have started with Pull uh, Up the Sock. It is a blind tasting um, to to help people get to know their specific uh, taste for a different beer style. So every box has got its own beer style, and it's got different beers from the same style. And. How is that catching on the blind, blind tasting box? Uh, were people surprised? Like, what, what is this concept? Um, well, I started off a little slow because I wanted people to uh, be inspired by beer. So I made a beer selection only with the, the best beers that you can get in a triple, in my opinion. Uh, and in my opinion is the best beers are stable beers. Um, consistency. Is very important. Um, you can brew one amazing beer in your whole life or you can brew it your whole life long um, and I think that is uh, very important uh, for Belgian beer culture. Uh, that Belgian beer culture is, is a stable market. We, we don't do very crazy stuff. Uh, we do a lot of crazy stuff but it will always be uh, a lot of traditional uh, but there will also be a little bit of an underground scene who will do amazing, amazing stuff now with my education from the school uh, and my experience with breweries. Uh, we can combine that with food and we can bring this to the people so that people can relate to beer more in restaurants or drink more beer, more good beers. Yeah. You you, men you mentioned the educational part that you do, uh, bring uh, special beers to the people. What, in your opinion, is lacking a bit in Belgium mentality about beers? Uh, yeah, you can you can see uh, when you go to the, the um, how do you call those the beer stores, you can see ten ten beers who are actually the same beer. They are brewed by the um, local basketball club i say something like yeah. that and they are champion for the locals and they make a beer from themselves or the um, my daughter has become uh, 50 years old and we make a beer and oh yeah maybe we can sell it and i think that there is the the wrong idea of beer you should make good beers and not the thought of selling 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 because it is it's not going to work. You, you want to make decent beers and uh, I hope that the, the breweries that make decent beers, they will make it through this crisis, eh, this corona crisis. Uh, and I hope they will be more uh, shown in the, main, the mainstream. You now do a project in a, in a restaurant, but is there also some things you do with bars to get them no more craft beers or is that still very difficult in Belgium? Mm, we we starting in, I got one one little project, um, it's, it's really cool, they have a lot of metal stuff and a lot of rock and it's so totally different from this restaurant. 
so I'm trying to do some like Morse or something related to what is cool, like dri driving a bike and then that kind of stuff in that scene, but also very good beers and so that uh, those people can relate to those beers. So it's always very difficult to um, to adjust to what the people want, but for me, it comes a little bit natural. I cool. hope. And can you tell us a bit about your project by Taratata? Uh, yeah, it was actually kind of funny. I just graduated from uh, Zytologie and um, Peter called me like, hey, can you get uh, Bokke beers at, uh, for somebody? I said, yeah, I get that question all the time. So, <laughs> <laughs> and um, it was like, yeah, who are they? What do they want? And, um, and then they introduced me to, uh, to Tom from this restaurant. And Tom was so enthusiastic about beer and, and he was so, I want to learn this and I want to learn that. And I started up with uh, with a blind tasting with Trappiste. So mm -hmm. um, everybody has to know the Trappiste. That is, I think in Belgium is normal. Um, and they were actually amazed by their basics. How how good can a basic be? And, um, and from that on, we started expanding more blind tastings. And actually we uh, made Tom and uh, Nele and Peter and me we made a whole menu with, uh, with the beers and uh, Tom, uh, Tom and Peter started with it, so like 80-90% and all together we made the finishing touch uh, to make uh, this amazing beer menu and beer uh, card. I don't know the word. <laughs> so. yeah. um, what are some future projects you're still planning now? <laughs> uh, dreams? Uh, three years ago, I started with the dream. Uh, right now, I think I'm at the base of a good, steady um, ground to do more of what I want to do with beer. Uh, and I will see what, what comes next. And uh, from day one, beautiful things are happening. And um, yeah, let's see. Yeah. Um, if you have to explain the Belgium more craft sector to um, somebody very young, how would you do it? I would let them blind taste. <laughs> let them be amazed by um, the difference between the beers that you can get every day and just let them taste something in, in the same style and just even be like, hmm, I like this or I don't like this because then you can work with people Then you can, you have to make them relate to a beer and from that base on, you can go every direction that you want. So you would say, start with the beers you know, and then in that style, do blind tastings uh, yeah. to start the opening their eyes a bit more yeah, towards to the beers. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right. Um, if people want to get in contact with you, how can they reach you? Uh, well, they can look at my uh, new uh, project uh, proof of the sock .ba or .nl or .com doesn't matter you will get to go on the same page um, there will be a, an email link um, there will be a Facebook page uh, Christonian group proof of the sock so it's it's all very easy to contact me all right thanks you a lot.